Where's that gone? It's out towards the boundary. Four more. Now, Cape couldn't get near it. A magnificent shot. And through the field, that's it. Four runs. Sabres 202. A performance, surely, which must rank way up high on the list of great innings on this ground. What about Barbados as a place? What, what do you think, what makes it special? I think Barbados is so special because of the people. I think the people make this place. And it's a place where you can come and relax and you know you're not going to have any lot of problems. You can walk down the streets, you can go wherever you want to and you can be assured that you're going to be well looked after. And wh have you got a favourite spot? I mean, would this be, would this be one of your favourite spots? Uh, Sandy Lane, yes. Yes, I, I come here every day. But I don't think there's a course where the conditions is as consistently good as this. Just before the season, they spend about six weeks doing all their greens and then they do them over and over till they get them right. And the fairways are always beautiful, immaculate. There's some cause on this course that is absolutely tremendous now. Um, for instance, number seven. So you've got to hit it about 180 to clear the water, haven't you? Yeah, go that. 150, yeah. And you're trying to... Well, I suppose you want it pretty straight, don't you, really? Yeah. Straight over the water. I can, I can take it on the fairway and let you have a look. So this is roughly where you did it. You see, you see, that's where you want to hit it. Because you're coming straight in. Mm. If you hit it over here, mm -hmm. you see? And you're it. going across it. Yeah. You've got to go across it. And if you go too far left, you're gone. Mm. If you over the club, you're in you the water. water. Or if you hit this, you go in the water. Yeah. Give me one more place in Barbados that you really love. I go down to Bathsheba. Down there is beautiful. The, 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 the scenery down there is so far different than any other part. Most people used to go on Sundays because they had a nice restaurant right down there, right on the beach where the surfers were, and you go and have lunch. Take the family route to have lunch. And you come back home and you feel so relaxed. And you feel you've went somewhere. Barbados has really, start, really started to look up for itself and to start to produce a hell of a lot for people to come and see and be happy in. O'Keefe bowling. And in the air, off the dust, could be six. Beautiful shot. That's a six. My, my um, fondest memory of playing at home is against England in 1960 when Frank Worrell and I put on something like 411 I think because we were in real trouble. I got 226 and, and Frank got 198. Frank and I were staying at a place called the Marine Hotel which was owned by John Goddard. I will get in at probably two o'clock, three o'clock in the morning and I will wait till when Frank come in because we used to wait by the bar. <laughs> And we'll have a drink there and then we'll go into bed at four o'clock and either lie down or five o'clock and then get up and go and play. And if, I, if he got in before me, he'll wait for me. If I got in before him, I'll wait for him. But I found that if I went to bed late, no matter what time I went to bed, two, three in the morning, I slept. I slept. And I forgot all about cricket until the time you wake up and then you know you get to the ground. Now is the time you think about the game. During my cricket career, I think that everything I did, I did for either Barbados, whatever team I played for, I never did anything for me because I couldn't find how I could play for myself and my country at the same time. It wasn't feasible to do that as far as I was concerned. And um, my contribution was to the game and the country that I, or the club that I was playing for. You know, so we didn't celebrate because we used to go to anyhow and have a drink here and there. We weren't bugged down by.